Hello everybody! Today I will show you how to use dynamic zones in your headless CMS models. But first of all, why should you bother with dynamic zones at all? You can create content that's more interesting and dynamic. Your content creators have the option to pick the most suitable template for their content, no matter if that's a heading or an article with examples or just a product entry. Dynamic zones offer an API schema that's more flexible. Let's start with adding a new content model for products. I will add the title for my product entry. And then I will add my first dynamic zone for the heading of the product page. For this specific dynamic zone, I will offer two templates. The first template is a simple text heading template. It is great to offer informative descriptions to make the life of your content creators a little bit easier. It only has one field, the page heading. The other one is a hero heading template with a page heading and a background image. I will also create a validation rule to ensure that each record will contain only one heading. Here it comes my second dynamic zone field for product details. This time I will offer the content creators to choose from a couple of different product templates. The first one is for snowboards. It will contain fields like rocker type, flex, shape and laminates. If the product is a snowboard, then my content creator will use this template. Then I add another one for bikes. This time we have frame or shock, fork, and a drivetrain as product details for the bikes. Again, I will add a validation rule to limit the content creators and not allow them to add content for this dynamic zone more than once. Let's see how it would work from content creator perspective. I will quickly show you how you can create a new record for a snowboard. Let's select the right product template and type in the information. Whoops, I missed the title. But luckily the validation rule kicked in to remind me that my product requires specification for the page heading and the hero image. And that's it. Save and publish. Dynamic zones are available with Webini version 5.34 or later. If you have tried them and you have some feedback for us, we would love to hear from you on Slack.